if you have this type of terrain in your Unreal Engine landscape with tessellation in the rocks, a good frame rate, and also for the open world, you need to watch this video. Today I'm going to show to you two different landscape materials. One is the best for optimization using runtime virtual texture, displacement, and a good slope. And the other is the best for the open world since it is more beautiful for far distance. So let's go check out how is these two different assets are good in different ways. The first material will be this magic map material in Maker. This is good for the tessellation and displacement. This is what I am here. So if you go more close, you can see some rock details like this. This is because it is have tessellation. If I put my brush wide frame, you will see the tessellation. So we have the maker. You can build your terrains here and add in tessellation and also bake the materials. So this is very easy to use. And this is very optimized. This is con constantly updated. You can find the Trello page for what these features he is making. This asset is very good. I'm going to show to you some examples of the performance. These assets have a lot of things. If I play with P, let's. So right here, you can see you have the the rocks and looks very beautiful. You can find the frame rate on the right side, but my computer are very laggy, so this is why not is very good. But right here, we're gonna do some benchmark using the other techniques. So for the optimization of this pack and why is so good, so you find the magic map and here you can change the quality of your landscape using others material instance so right now i'm using the cinematic quality have the lower performance and have the tessellation and the, are using the auto material that's reduce okay so that is why are so beautiful we have tessellation of the rocks and far distance looks okay but if you look for the frame rate, so I nearly have 60 frames per second right here and are the best quality. But you can use all of these presets, like you can use the auto material with high quality with, without the tessellation. So this will be flat and you can use the runtime virtual texture this is for reduce the texture amount for your gpu and also you gain some fps so let's go try to use the cinematic quality but with the cinematic with runtime virtual texture quality and with tessellation right now runtime virtual texture are very good in the unreal engine since 4.25 find the difference between the cinematic quality with the auto landscape with the runtime virtual texture. Of course, some details in the distance will be more apparent because runtime virtual texture are not 100% finished, will be finished on a real engine 5. Okay, so now we have the tessellation with runtime virtual texture 11 for full screen. I will click and press G and G for put in game mode. So using the runtime virtual texture, far distance like here is very blurry because the runtime virtual texture are not finished yet in the production. So we have now 73 tessellation, uh, 73 FPS, and we are saving the memory and we work the tessellation. So you can find the tessellation not will be so beautiful but have tessellation let's try again control p i think it was here and we can see the difference this looks like a little of the like pubg do but the tessellation not are very good here but if you 
get close will be better. Of course, these don't have meshes on the landscape. You can put meshes, but you have a little more FPS and have tessellation. If we put now, why this is the best landscape material for you? Because have all of these features like tessellation, displacement, runtime pixel texture, and were made for performance. So right now we can see what is the best performance without tessellation. So I will use the preset one. I click in apply landscape preset and let's wait. And now we have about 100 FPS or 90. So let's play out P. So we have a little more of the 73 FPS. This is why I'm recording using the NVIDIA share. So I'm losing a lot of FPS because my computer are very old. Not just because NVIDIA share lose a lot of FPS. It's more about my CPU is very bad. So right here, you can see don't have any tessellation. And if we go where we are before, you can see don't have tessellation, but have a lot of more frame rate. So right now I can play here and okay. If we go for optimization, shader complexity, using runtime brittle texture, you can have this shader complexity because you're baking all the information for the runtime brittle texture. I don't know if uh, we can open this, but you're gonna see this color of the a little dark green, but it's very good for performance. This is why we have a lot of FPS. Okay, preset A and apply landscape and wait. Finish now. I'm compiling my grass, and you can see a different. A difference in the distance, like have now more details because we are not using the one time pixel texture. And right here we have a little of tessellation because our tessellation are reaching this area. So let's F11 again. Press G, G. Okay, now we have almost 60 FPS and we have a good. Tessellation, and also we have a lot of use in the memory, so this is why far distance looks more beautiful right here. And also, the tessellation are a little better when distance because not are adding shadows. So let's go to lit and shader complex. So right now you can see this preset 8 using the cinematic quality. I'm using a lot of features for the layers, the landscape layers. I think I'm using just the auto material, but are blending three different materials. And this is why we have a bad color. Like we are using the this red value right here. You can see it's very bad. This is why we are losing a lot of performance. This have a lot of things like you can, let's go in the maps. So right here, this pack have the desert demo, island demo, this is where we are. Two rain generator, trail and temple. This is for, for sand, snow and foliage. So if your player pass through the foliage, the foliage will interact interaction. And also we'll have footstep on the sand and footstep on the snow. We will enter in this area of the sand and we have this interaction. You can see the footsteps. You see, 
if we move more slowly we can check better but if we run we have some trails so we have this sand this part with the sand we have a good tessellation since these maps are a little a little smaller we have a better performance so let's let's walk so let's open here and play from here so right now i am in the snow part so you can check the snow trail right some angles don't look so nice because the illumination right here are very strong but you can interact with this with the balls and you check the trails all right so this is why this pack are also so good because you can do something like red dead redemption if we you put your own material your own terrain and will be very good so this part i will not run so if you go out of this box this will be put again in zero but if you are inside this area you be forever so right here let's check how it works in this sand so we are running and we have some trails too this looks like have a tint like have a dark yellow very nice so you have plant interaction you can check the grass oh. unfortunately i don't have the crouch here for check better but you can see the the grass are moving when we pass through this looks very good looks like now we can very notice but you have some trails all right this, this is good if you do something like ghost of Tsushima this looks so nice and uh, a feature that I'd like to show to you and I like the most in this pack so we have the tessellation okay looks fine and you don't need to put a rock here because they're very beautiful and you will have something like we can see in Red Dead Redemption like this rock have a slope very very sharp slope and we have this this texture right here in the middle you can see it looks very beautiful because you think are a uh, static mesh put here but are just the terrain are just the landscape material put some textures of course we don't have tessellation and if this was the final game you need to put some meshes right here so this is very beautiful too and this pack are very good because first you have the selection point two you have a lot of performance improvement you can use runtime brutal texture you can use these trails for adding footsteps and you can see the performance the performance are very high and this is the cinematic quality so you have all of these features like you have the generated terrain you can have the snow you can have desert you can bake the split map we have the selection that is very good we have a lot of performance so this is was this is the best pack for you have because have a lot of performance and you can learn a lot if you check out this blueprint and also the material 